Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Virtual University. In the earlier lessons, we have been exploring ways of writing more effective sentences. In today's lesson, we will look at pronouns. Pronouns, their agreement, their reference and their point of view, which are essential for good writing. Let us begin. You will see a number of sentences. See if you can locate the mistake in each sentence. This is, we are beginning in a different way. I am not giving you the rules. You have to look at the sentences and you locate the mistake. Number one, each of my students required four to five chances to pass their driving test. Number two, if there are stains on any hotel sheets, they should be removed at once. Number three, people go to the neighborhood restaurant because you get low priced meals all day. Look at those sentences. I hope you were able to locate a mistake. There is a mistake in each one of them and the mistake is the pronoun mistake. Now you know what a pronoun is. A pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun or a noun phrase. Sentence number one. Each of my students required four to five chances to pass his driving test. Now each, the word each is singular. It requires a singular pronoun and the pronoun that should have been there is his. Each of my students required four to five chances to pass not their but his driving test. Number two, if there are any stains on any hotel sheets, the sheets should be removed at once. Now the way the sentence was originally, it wasn't very clear which is to be removed, the stains or the sheets. And by using the pronoun they, they could refer to either one. They could refer to uh, the stains or they could refer to the sheets. So you replace they with the phrase the sheets. And that makes the meaning of the sentence clear. Let me read that sentence again. If there are stains on any hotel sheets, the sheets should be removed at once. Number three, people go to the neighborhood restaurant because they can get low priced meals. Now, the word people requires a third person pronoun. And the pronoun is they, not you. You is second person. Sentences that begin in the third person should not suddenly shift their point of view to the second person, which was you. Now the sentence was earlier, people go to the neighborhood because, neighborhood restaurant because you can get low priced meals. Now that wasn't correct. People should have the word they, right. Now, now in today's lesson you, are, you will learn how to avoid the three most frequent kinds of pronoun mistakes and these mistakes are pronoun, mistakes of pronoun agreement, pronoun reference and pronoun point of view. Now when we talk about pronoun agreement, by that, by agreement we mean agreement shows the relationship between nouns and pronouns and their verbs. And between, and it also shows the relationship between nouns and their corresponding pronouns. Agreement specifies that a singular noun or a singular pronoun uses a singular verb and a plural noun 
or pronoun takes a plural verb. A singular pronoun refers to a singular noun and a plural, plural pronoun refers to a plural noun. A pronoun must agree in number with the word it refers to. Now this word is sometimes referred to or called the pronoun's antecedent. You've come across this word before. Antecedent is what comes before, ante, A-N-T-E. Remember in your early vocabulary lessons, we said that any word that has A-N-T-E, not A-N-T-I, that is anti meaning against. This is anti meaning coming before, antecedent, any word that comes before. Now look at this example. The students have spent many hours studying for their examination. Over there, the antecedent of the word there is students. Now I hope the meaning of the word antecedent is clear. Something that comes before. What is it that comes before their, their examinations? It is students. So the antecedent of their is students. In the second example, the book Yusuf lent me is missing its cover. Now in this sentence, its is a singular pronoun and it refers to the word book which is a singular pronoun. And the antecedent of its is the pronoun book. Look at the, another example. If your friends don't get here soon, they'll miss the train. Now over there, the word they is a plural pronoun and it refers to a plural, plural noun which is friends. Now there is a list of indefinite pronouns pronouns which do not specifically refer to something. The word each, either, neither, one, anyone, everyone, someone, no one, anybody, everybody, somebody, nobody, anything, everything, something, nothing. These are indefinite pronouns and these, remember, they are always singular. Whenever you find these pronouns, you must know that they are in the singular. Example, look at the way these pronouns, indefinite pronouns are used. Each of the wild horses raced for its freedom. Its refers its antecedent is wild horses, right? And its is a singular pronoun. Number two, neither of my sons ever feels like cleaning his bedroom. And notice the word neither. It's a singular indefinite pronoun although the word sons is in the plural, but the word pronoun neither is there, neither of my sons. So you have to use the pronoun his with it, neither of my sons ever feel, ever feels like cleaning his room. Number three, no one in the class wanted to read his or her paper aloud. And we've got the indefinite pronoun, no one. Since you've got no one, so you will have to use the pronoun his or her, not their. Most people say, no one in the classroom wanted to read their paper aloud. No, their is wrong. It has to be his or her. Number four, no students in the class wanted to read their papers aloud, right? No students 
student in the class, no students in the class wanted to read their papers aloud. Let's move on to practice and this is the first practice. Now in each of these sentences you write the pronoun that is needed and the word that the pronoun refers to. I'll do the first one for you. Take the first example. Neither of the babies has had his or their polio shot yet. Now shot means injection over here. We use the word injection but pop, uh, shot is also used. Means the same thing. Neither of the babies has had now over there since the word the pronoun neither has been used the pronoun that is needed is his. The word it refers to is neither. So the correct choice over there would be neither of the babies has had his polio shot yet. Number two, many high schools now require their students, their or its students to take a computer course. Now what pronoun is required over there? You have to choose from the word there and its. Which one is required? And what word is it referring to? The pronoun needed is there. Many high schools now require their students to take a computer course. And the word there refers to schools. That's the antecedent. Number three, each of the girls invited her, their mother to the party. Which, word, which pronoun would you choose? Her or their? The pronoun needed is her. Each of the girls invited her mother and the word that it refers to is each. Number four, nobody can join the club unless he, she, he or she or they are invited. Now you know the sentence begins with the indefinite pronoun nobody. So the pronoun or the pronouns and verb needed are he or she. The word the pronoun and verb needed, the word the pronoun refer to, uh, the pronoun refers to is nobody. So the correct choice would be nobody can join the club unless he or she is invited. Number five, everything in the office has its or their own place. Which pronoun would you choose? The pronoun to be chosen is its. Everything in the office has its own place. The word its refers to everything that comes earlier. Now over here you have to choose the pronoun and the words are given in the brackets. Each of the actresses who auditioned believes should be chosen for the main role. Now would you choose she or they? And the correct word would be she because we are referring to the word she is, refers to, to the word each. Number seven. If anybody is interested in a part-time job at, at the library, he or she or they should let the chief librarian know. And the correct pronoun would be he or she, not they, because 
the earlier indefinite pronoun anybody is singular. Number eight, either medicine is fine, but it or they must be taken regularly. What pronoun would you use to go with the word either? And the pronoun is it. Either medicine is fine, but it must be taken regularly. Number nine, somebody in the ladies lounge stole my dark glasses and I would love to get back at her or them. Now which one is the appropriate pronoun? Is it her or is it them? You should choose her because it refers to somebody and it has to be her because we are talking about a ladies lounge. Number 10, neither of my uncles has ever smoked in his life or in their life and it has to be his because his refers to, it refers back to the indefinite pronoun neither. Now that was pronoun agreement. We are moving on to the second part and that is pronoun reference. Just as a pronoun must agree in number with its antecedent, it is also necessary for effective communication that a pronoun should refer clearly to the word it stands for. If the meaning of a pronoun is uncertain, the sentence will be confusing. This agreement between a noun and a pronoun is related to number, person and gender and it is called reference. Notice that it is an agreement between a noun and its pronoun and it is related to three things, number, person and gender and this is called reference. Example, Rabia told Nafisa that she had got an A in her term paper. Rabia told Nafisa that she had got an A in her term paper. Now from that sentence, it is not clear who got the A. Was it Rabia or was it Nafisa? Rabia told Nafisa and the word her and the word she, the two pronouns that have been used over there could refer to either one. It could, they could refer to Rabia or Nafisa. So the use of the word she and her is not correct. Take the next example. Javeria told Leila she will be unable to keep her job. Javeria told Leila she will be unable to keep her job. Now notice again it's the word, the pronoun she and the pronoun her. They are not making clear that who it will be unable to keep her job. Look at the third example. Personal and management have reached tentative agreement on its contract. Now who is its contract? Is its referring to personal or is it referring to management? Now I hope you can see that the use of a small word like he or she or her or its can create confusion. So when you write sentences, be sure that you use the correct pronoun. Look at another example. Each student is encouraged to submit their work on time. Now you have just seen enough examples and you know what is wrong. Number five, there is another example. There was no question after the lecture which was regrettable. Now what was regrettable? Was it the lecture or the lack of question? 
the use of the word which does not clarify. Be careful with the use of the pronouns which and this. They must clarify, they must refer to one thing or situation. There was no question after the lecture which was regrettable. Which was regrettable? The question or the lecture? Another example. Both of Basit's parents are doctors, but it doesn't interest Basit. Now, what doesn't interest Basit? The pronoun it doesn't refer to anything in the sentence. Now, you have seen six examples, and in these examples, the mistake was the wrong use of the pronoun. Now, notice how the communication, how communication is enhanced in these very sentences. You can rewrite them in a different way, in a way that will make the meaning clear. Now, the first example, for the first example, you can write, you can write that sentence in two ways. First, you can write, Rabia told Nafisa, you got an A on your term paper. Clear? It is Rabia telling Nafisa, you got an A on your term paper. Or, you can write this, that Rabia told Nafisa, I got an A on my term paper. Now, in both these corrections, you noticed that it was the use of the pronoun, the wrong use of the pronoun that created the ambiguity, the confusion. Look, look at number two. Javeria, you can, uh, the second sentence about Javeria not being able to keep her job. Number two, Javeria will be unable to keep her job according to what she told Lela. Very simple. You've read it in that sentence, but it makes it very clear who would be unable to keep her job. Number three, personal and management have reached tentative agreement on personal's contract. No confusion. You could either use personal or management, but here it is personals and the confusion is no longer there. Look at the fourth example. Each student is encouraged to submit his or her work on time. Earlier on, you had the word there, which was inappropriate. So, you rewrite that sentence as each student is encouraged to submit his or her work on time. And for number five, there were no questions after the lecture. Full stop. Not having questions was regrettable. You have rephrased the sentence. The first part clarifies that there were no questions and it was not having questions that was regrettable. And the last example, both of Basit's parents are doctors, but medicine doesn't interest Basit. In, in the example that you had earlier, it said it doesn't interest Basit. Now, it wasn't very clear. And when you use the word medicine, that clarified that Basit is not interested in medicine. Let us have another practice. And here, words are given you, and they are in brackets, and you have to choose the correct word from those word or words from those that are given in the brackets. Take the first sentence. As Riyaz told his father about being arrested, 
began to cry. Now, who began to cry? Is it Riyaz or is it he? The correct choice would be Riyaz began to cry because if you say he began to cry, he would again make the sentence ambiguous. You don't know. Is it Riyaz who is crying or is it his father who is crying? So, the choice of Riyaz would be better. Number two, students complain that they don't keep the library tidy or is it the maintenance staff don't keep the library tidy? It has to be the maintenance staff because that makes the sentence very clear. Number three, Mahanur tore off the wrapping paper from the present and then threw and then threw it or the paper in the rubbish bin. What would you choose? The correct choice would be the paper. Mahanur tore off the wrapping paper from the present and threw it through the paper in the rubbish bin. Because if you use the word, if you choose the word it, that wouldn't be clear. What did she what did Manur throw in the rubbish bin? Did she throw the present or did she throw the wrapping paper? Number four. Many poor people shop at the Sunday Bazaar because they give a five percent discount or is it the vendors that give a five percent discount? The use of the pronoun they would be ambiguous. And if you choose the vendors, that would be a better choice because that makes it very clear who is giving the discount. Number five, many people enjoy hiking and camping, but I am not interested in them or those activities. The correct choice would be those activities. Because the way the sentence stands, many people enjoy hiking and camping, but I am not interested in them. Them would mean people. But why should you be interested in Right? So the correct choice would be, I am not interested in those activities. Now that was the second mistake, the second common mistake that students make, and that was of reference. We look at the third pronoun mistake and that is point of view. Now pronouns that refer to the person who is speaking is called a first person pronoun and examples are I, me, our. Right? And a pronoun that refers to someone being spoken to, such as the word you, is a second person pronoun. And a pronoun that refers to another person or thing, such as he, she, it. Now, these are third person pronouns. And you will see personal, these are called personal pronouns and you can see them on your screen. They are grouped in first, second and third person. Right? Now, when you write, your pronoun point of view must stay the same. Now, that means that you should not unnecessarily shift from one point of view to another. And you look at the following examples and you will notice that in all of these examples there is an unnecessary shift. Look at the first example. The worst thing about my not writing letters is that you never get any back. Now what is wrong over there? You will notice that the writer begins with the first person pronoun, my. The worst thing about my not writing letters. And then shifts within the 
same sentence, he shifts the pronoun point of view, he shifts from the first person to the second person, you, which is wrong. The worst thing about my not writing letters is that you never get any back. Number two, though we like most of our neighbors, there are a few you can't get along with. Now, over here, the writer begins with the first person pronoun, our, we, our. Though we like most of our neighbors, they are both first person pronouns, but then shifts to the second pro person pronoun, you. Now, these sentences, they can be improved by eliminating the shifts in person. In the first sentence, the first, the worst thing about my not writing letters is that I never get back, I never get any back, right? It's the same pronoun point of view. Look at the second one. Though we like most of our neighbors, there are a few we can't get along with not you. It's the same pronoun point of view in the second, we and we. Right? Now, uh, let us practice eliminating shifts in person. Here are a few examples. See if you can improve them by shifting the point, the pronoun point of view. The first one, what I like best about holidays is that you don't have to set an alarm. Notice it begins with the first person, I, and then it shifts to the second person, you. You can improve this by writing what I like best about holidays is that I don't have to set an alarm. Number two, the laborers have to take a break at 11, whether we want to or not. Whether we want to or not. Again, shift in point of view. It began with and it ends with, how would you correct it? The laborers have to have a break at 11 whether they want to or not. And in the third one, whenever students are under a great deal of stress, we often go into depression. Whenever students are under a great deal of stress, we often go into depression. Now, over here, what is wrong? You can correct this, eliminate the shift by writing, whenever students are under a great deal of stress, they often go into depression. It's they. Number four, if you plan to do well on this course, one should plan on attending every lesson. Notice it's you and one. From the second to the first. The shift is from the second person to the first person. It should be one. And you can rewrite this as if you plan to do well on this course, you should plan on attending every lesson. Keep to the same point of view. Number five, when I first began to work as a nurse, I was surprised at how rude some patients were to you. Notice again, it's the shift from the first to the second. It should be, 
when I first began to work as a nurse, I was surprised at how, some, how rude some patients were to me. Now we shall test if you have understood pronouns, pronoun agreement, pronoun reference and pronoun point of view. And this test is in three parts. The first one, there is a pronoun mistake and you rewrite these sentences. Take the first one, neither friend wants to work in family business. What would you use over there? His or their? Remember, neither is an indefinite pronoun and it is singular. The second pronoun must agree with it in number. Which one would you have? I am sure you chose his. Number two, if anyone does not want his, her, their pudding, I'll eat it. If anyone doesn't want his or her pudding, I'll eat it. Number three, when I, when I was stopped for speeding, he said I'd been going beyond the speed limit. How would you correct this? When I was stopped for, who is he? The second pronoun, he. You have to clarify. And instead of using he, you should use the phrase, the police officer. When I was stopped for speeding, the police officer said, etc, etc, etc. All right. Look at the next one. I won't go to Ebrarul Huck's concert tonight because there's no way you could get a ticket. Now, the sentence begins with I and then it says you. There is a shift. So, how would you correct it? You should say, I won't go to Ibrarul Haq's concert tonight because there is no way I could get a ticket. Now, this is the second half the second part of your test. Now each, there is, this part contains longer passages and each of the passages contains two pronoun mistakes. You find the mistake and rewrite the correct version of the passage. Read the passage. Bashir told Yusuf that he needed a new car. Bashir went on to stay, uh, went on to say, I still like my old Suzuki, but the car spends more time in the workshop than on the road. Yusuf agreed that anybody who had to pay for so many repairs to their car should buy a new one. Now you look for the two pronoun mistakes. The mistake in the first sentence is he. You have to clarify who is he. So you remember, you can rewrite it this way. Bashir told Yusuf, comma, open inverted commas, I need a new car. Right? Etc. Or you can say, uh, then uh, go on, and the second mistake is in the last sentence. Yusuf agreed that anybody who had to pay for so many repairs to his car should buy a new one. Right? Look at the second passage. Again, there are two mistakes in this passage. The restaurant down the road isn't making a profit these days. Is there a pronoun mistake over there? No. Look at the next one. During an inspection last month, 
they found rats and cockroaches in the kitchen. Now, who is they? So, that is the first pronoun mistake. They found rats and cockroaches in the kitchen. The bad publicity caused the restaurant to close down for a week, which was damaging to the restaurant's business. So, we have spotted one mistake, one pronoun mistake and that was in the second sentence the word, the pronoun they. And there is another one, the second one is the pronoun which, because both these pronouns they and which do not make it clear who or what they are referring to. In, this, uh, in the first uh, mistake, you can correct this by writing, during an inspection last month, the health officials, now who is they? They has to be the health officials. So, instead of using the word they, the phrase the health officials found rats and cockroaches in the kitchen. And in the last sentence, the bad publicity caused the restaurant to close down for a week, which was damaging to the rest. Now, what is which? It would be better if you used this closing was damaging to the restaurant's business. Look at the third example. Each of the sisters is a successful artist in their own field. Amana does oil paintings but she, that she sells at the Crow Eaters Gallery. Camellia makes jewelry which one sells by herself from her home. Two mistakes in that passage. There is one in the first sentence, each of the sisters is a successful artist in her own field. There is no pronoun mistake in the second and in the third one, Camellia makes jewelry which she sells by herself from her home. You can't have one over there. And in in the fourth sentence, in the fourth uh, sample, an angry looking man stood outside the bank, shouting that they had stolen his money. Passers by walked around him quickly, walked around him quickly because you did not know what he might do. In the first sentence, it is the pronoun they. What is or who is they referring to? they has nothing in the sentence to refer to. So, you have to make it clear. Shouting that you can rewrite that sentence, correct that sentence by writing, an angry looking man stood outside the bank shouting that the bank employees had stolen his money. Passers by walked around him quickly because they did not know what he might do because you, you want to, you are referring to passers by and that is in the plural. So, you have to use the word, the pronoun they, because they, that is the passers by, passers by did not know what he might do. And in the last part, look at this passage, read it quickly. Over here, this passage is made up of four sentences and there is a pronoun mistake in each sentence. Four sentences and each sentence has a pronoun mistake. Read it quickly. When Auntie Musarat and Uncle Riaz arrived, we all jumped up from the dinner table and rushed to the door shouting their greetings. I am sorry we are late, said Uncle Riaz, but 
but Musarat insists on said Uncle Riyaz, but Musarat insists on driving at 40 miles an hour no matter how late you are. But you were late in coming home from work and also in leaving Islamabad and it's all your fault. Auntie Musarat answered, the worst thing for me is living with such a fussy man is you always have to wait for him to finish selecting his wardrobe, washing his car and combing his hair just right, continued auntie. Now in that, if you look at that passage, in the first sentence, the pronoun there is wrong, right? In, in the first sentence, the, uh, the pronoun there is wrong because it said their greetings. It should be our greetings. We all jumped, right? We, we is a first person pronoun. So there is a shift in from uh, to the third person point of view. It should be there. There T-H-E-I-R is wrong. It should be our greetings. We all shouted our greetings, not there. Sentence number two. How late, no matter how late you are. Now you is the wrong pronoun. It should be how late we are. And in sentence number three, but you were late in coming from work and also in leaving Islam and it's, and it's all your fault. It is wrong. Why? Because it does not refer to anything in the sentence. You, you could have used the word, uh, the phrase and the lateness. And the lateness is all your fault. And in the last sentence, the worst thing for me is living with such a funny, uh, such a fussy man is you always have to wait for me. It's not you. Such a fussy man is you always have to wait for him. That is wrong. It should be I, the first person. I have to wait for him. A quick lesson review, what we have done today answer all these questions by telling, by writing the correct word in the blank. Words such as each, everyone and something are what kind of pronouns? They are singular pronouns. It tells you each, everyone, something. Number two, words such as I, you and they are personal pronouns. Number three, a dash person, pro, a person pronoun is one that refers to the person being spoken to and the word is second. Number four, is this a correct or false statement? A pronoun may be singular even if its antecedent is plural. That is wrong. It's false. And the, the fifth one, a writer should not needlessly change from first person to the second person. Is that a correct statement or a false statement? And it is a correct statement. Right? In today's lesson, you looked at some more sentence errors and these were all pronoun errors and you learned how to improve your written expression by focusing on pronouns, their agreement and their point of view. All good writers keep in mind these aspects of language and avoid these errors and you should also try to avoid making such errors. So. That's all for today. Allah Hafiz. See you next time.